Fellas, so where am I on the boat build process? I have got the bottom epoxy together. I have the transom cut out, the bow cut out, the sides cut out. Now I need to mate the sides together. And I've been shooting video while I've been building and I've been looking back over the footage and it is boring. I may just end up having to completely rethink the way I'm shooting it. Actual shooting the footage of building the boat being B-roll and then me just talking heads, hey, explaining what I'm doing and we can kind of cut back and forth to make it more interesting. If, I, if it's not interesting to me, it's, it's going to be dead boring for you people. First of all, welcome to Product and Project Thursdays. I'm, I'm trying to roll out moving towards going daily on YouTube and part of that is on Thursdays I want to either review a product or give updates on a project that I'm working on and for this next foreseeable future is going to be building this boat until it's done. Those videos will drop on Thursdays. Uh, let's just go on into the the transom build. A uh, jigsaw works well for this. When cutting out the transom, you're going to need a jigsaw or a Japanese pull saw works well. The dimensions, I'm not giving the dimensions here, the dimensions are only available on my Teachable page. So if you want to check those out, look at the description or the comments below and you'll find them there. That's where they are and that's the only place I'm going to put them. You need a straight edge. I would highly recommend that you get one of those long squares that, that contractors use for dealing with cutting drywall and stuff. I show you a, in the class I show you a very easy way to use to measure everything out make sure you have everything at the right angle. Best way to cut it is just with the jigsaw really. That's, that'll be the fastest way. Probably more accurately would be with the Japanese pull saw. This is a Japanese pull saw. It has two blades here and here. This is for with the grain. This is for against the grain. It only cuts when you pull not when you push. So it's like a reverse coping saw or something like that. Very accurate because it's so long, you can see where you're cutting and the angle you're cutting. Uh, for, boat, for very fine work, precise work, this is what you want. You can get them from Home Depot, Lowe's, things like that. If you want a genuine, you can go to some of your finer woodcraft places. It is gonna rain today, so I may not get much boat, boat building done the rest of this week. Uh, Okay, that's how you make the transom. Quite frankly, the bow and the transom are done exactly the same way. So I may combine them into this one video. 